John, what a difference a month makes. Four games unbeaten now, things looking a lot better. Yeah, obviously we're in a better position now than, than what we were uh, a month ago. Um, but none of us are getting carried away. Um, still, still a lot of hard work to be done. And uh, that's a message really to the players. You know, they've done well in the last four games, but it's only four games and, uh, you know, we've got to see, the, see it through to the end now. Manny Oyeliki just said that something clicked before that Notts County game. Is that something you noticed as well? Yeah, I think all. I think all of us saw it, didn't we? The, you know, the performance was really good, uh, the work rate, and uh, and they've carried that on for the last uh, three games. Obviously, Swindon game um, was a little bit different because of the conditions, so it was hard to judge anybody on that on that performance. But uh, yeah, the signs have been good, but. Uh, as I say, we've got to just keep going now, keep our heads down and, and keep uh, keep working hard and battling away. Three clean sheets in, in the four games as well, that must please you, something which seems to have changed. Yeah, that you know, the first thing, if you get a clean sheet, you know you've got a point. So uh, it's always important that, that you get your clean sheets and uh, anybody who wants to do well, uh, that's the starting point. It was clear you were coming into a diff difficult situation when you came here, but I guess one of the things was the team already didn't have a too bad defensive record. That's always a good start as a manager, I'd imagine. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously, the the uh, difficult thing has been putting the ball in the back of the net. Hopefully, uh, we can rectify that. Um, we have been making numerous chances, so uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll continue to to put the ball in the back of the net now. Uh, Swindon was, as I say, was was a one-off really with conditions, so it's hard, you know, to say that because there was few and far between chances. But I think if you look at a lot of games on that day, there wasn't many goals scored, or if there was, it was a ridiculous amount because of probably conditions. Well, look at when you first came in. Was there ever a point where you were thinking maybe up until that Notts County game, well, actually, are the players gonna put the, put my ideas on the pitch? Is this gonna turn around? It wasn't so much. Uh, our ideas, our ideas are quite simple, and that is uh, to work hard and have a team ethic. Um, but yeah, when you go without a win, and uh, you know there was games that we should have won, uh, we were unlucky with one or two decisions. But you do wonder whether it's gonna gonna turn for you. Luckily, it has at the moment. But as quick as it turns one way, it can turn the other. So uh, you know we've just got to keep keep doing what we uh, what we've been doing and if the players do that then uh, we should be okay that being said then how much more do you need to get to safety do you think i've always said that you know we are looking to try and get 50 points if you get 50 points then i think we're definitely going to stay up it might might be less but in the players heads they've got to be looking to to get another three wins Forest Green tomorrow, you beat Mansfield already at home here, your home form's looking a lot better, that must give you a lot more confidence. I've said since I came in, you know, home form is vital for us if we're going to stay up and uh, you want to you want to play well in front of the home support. Um, the last few games they've been able to get behind us and hopefully that'll be the case again. Um, but it's down to the players and uh, performing so that, the pl uh, so that the crowd can do that and enjoy it. What's changed at home? You you were here in the stands watching this team sometimes as well. So what what have the players done differently, and, and what's changed for you to, to turn the home form around? I think you've just got to you've got to go out there and and try and win the game, not hope it's going to happen. I think you've got to go and get at teams uh, so that the you know the crowd does play a part in it, um, and that's what we've tried to do. We've tried to get into teams, put them under pressure, and uh, that's probably been the difference. Has it been handy this week to have a week to freshen, freshen up a bit after three games in a week? Yeah, it always always helps. Uh, everybody can get over slight injuries and, uh, you know, recharge the batteries. Um, but that'll be the same for Forest Green. So, um, yeah, it'll, it's it's always nice to have that to week's break as such to to uh, to get more training in. That being said then, how's Tom Pope? Tom again, still still struggling a little bit he's had a, an injection he's due to to have an injection again today um it probably be too soon but for tomorrow but we'll see after the injection see how, how it settles down but the the good thing is that when he when he does come back um you know he should be 100 percent fit and that's what we want we want tom 
Tom Wright because we will I'm sure we'll need him before the end of the season and what are you expecting from Forest Green a uh, team that plays football um, you know they, they're obviously a decent team they, where they are in the league and if they click then you know they can they can really hurt you so uh, we've just got we've got to make sure that we're at our best if, uh, if we want to get something tomorrow and just finally have you had any conversations with anybody at the club looking further on than the end of the season no, no. As I said, for myself, like the players, it's just a matter of keeping keeping our heads down and keep trying to get results. Um, when I came in, it's, that was my main purpose was trying to keep the club up. And I said, if I, if I did that, then I was happy. And uh, what will be will be after that. But the main thing is just to to stay up at the moment.